Persian New South Wales represents people over the age of 50. We normally do this in policy and systemic ways and providing information. But another way that we also provide education is through our program called Peer Education. Peer Education, we recruit volunteers who are over the age of 50 and they go out to already established groups and present different subjects. We partner with different organisations to present these. So the session that you're getting today is Internet Safety, Be Confident Online. I'm going to talk to you today about Internet Safety. And I'm going to scare you by introducing you to all the risks that can happen. You should never, ever go on the Internet. It is a nasty, horrible place. Then I'm going to balance off the stress by showing you how to avoid all of these nasty things that are out there on the Internet. This is about being safe on the Internet. It is not about using your computer. I'm going to cover five areas. What risks are involved in using the Internet? How do you minimize those risks? How do you create strong passwords? And more importantly, how do you remember them? How do you keep children and grandchildren safe when they're using using Internet in your house or wherever you are? And finally, where do you get further information and helpful advice? Before I start, <laughs> Old technology. <laughs> Everybody read that? Yes. What does that say? Uh, you're pretty cute too. I love you too. <laughs> I'll come back to that. What are some of the risks? Somebody might gain your personal information. Called identity theft. And then pretend to be you. And do get you into a lot of trouble. Uh, give you a virus. Scam you for money. The very first thing you do to protect your computer starts at home. You have good security software. Because then it will stop viruses. Now, virus is a little program that gets into your computer. It can be innocuous. Sometimes it doesn't do anything. Sometimes it will steal all your information and, and watch while you enter your bank account numbers and stuff. Um, you need to minimize the risk by installing good security, <coughs> good security software. There are some paid versions. There are some free versions. And to be honest, for general use, the free versions are just as good as the paid version. And I'll give you the names of them. They all start with, except for one, all start with AV, antivirus. It's a Vira, A-V-I-R-A. It's free. It's good. Avast, A-V-A-S-T. Also free. Also good. AVG free, spelled AVG. And the one standout that doesn't start with uh, AV is Microsoft Security Essentials. All of those are good, all of those are free. Never, never trust an email that asks for your personal information or your account details. As I just pointed out, never give your wallet or your credit card to a stranger. So why would you do it online? Identity theft, this happened to my daughter. She had a social media page hacked. And because she used the same password, another point, we'll come to that when we talk about passwords, she used the same password on her Hotmail account and her Gmail account and whatever else. She only had one password. And they had, the hackers got into it, who knows how, and they hacked all of her accounts. Use strong passwords. Some people say change them regularly. My view, if it hasn't been hacked, I wouldn't worry. Never enter your personal details, credit card, account numbers, into a website you are not 110% sure of. Be very suspicious of websites or emails that ask you to update or validate your personal information. If you're shopping online, use secure methods such as PayPal. There's two or three other ones. PayPal is one of the big ones. Or BPay. Now, BPay goes through your bank. Passwords, got to do this. You can't come out and do passwords. Passwords are difficult to remember. The rules are at least eight characters. Mix of letters and numbers. And if you can do it, and I specify that a lot of sites will not let you do anything else. So if you can put in what's called non-alpha, non-numeric, space, ampersand, question mark, any of these, it dramatically increases the security. Best way to do passwords 
is what's called a pass phrase. This is one. As it sits here, not terribly small. But with very little effort. One, capital L, whoops, zero, lowercase, lowercase, space if you can do it, or not if you can't, capital zero. That then totally confuses anybody trying to hack it. And if you want to make it extra strong, you can put, for example, O2 on the end, so I love you too. You won't forget that. The children, if you have children and grandchildren in your place and they're using a computer, if it's in some place where adults are, not looking over their shoulder, that's not right, but somewhere where there's adults in the area, and just basically keep, out of the corner of their eye, just keep an eye on what, what the kids are doing, set some rules. 